So when I say teeth, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all those teeth. That can do some damage, right? So you can see when you set that hook, if you don't go for broke, you can see all those teeth that those hooks will be poking up against and you'll never set the hook. And they have them in the top and the bottom part of their mouth. So when sheep's head fishing, like I say, when you set that hook, you gotta go for broke. Meaning you're yanking like you're trying to yank his head off. So, you know, that's what you're doing when you set that hook. And um, if you do that, then you will secure more of these fish. All right, keep watching. All right, now if you have not already become acquainted with the bait that I'm using when sheep's head fishing, I wanna introduce you to the Fiddler Crab. And this is what I've been using. And you can see that um, they're quite animated little crabs. And the way we hook them is like this. Basically just come in through the side there. And you're just poking through just until the hook sticks out the back just a tad. Like that. See how that hook is barely exposed there? That's what you're looking to try to do. So that's how you hook the fiddler crabs on there. And that's what I'm using for sheep's head fishing. I did have someone ask me um, about where to get fiddler crabs. Really, uh, you can get them in little sandy areas or a rocky shoreline like I'm fishing on today. You can just go down a shoreline like this and flip rocks over and you'll find fiddler crabs under those as well. So more than one way to get them, but uh, that's two different ways. So hopefully that helps. All right, keep watching. Sometimes if you're patient, you can get those snags loose. That little flick technique, some kind of way works for me. All right, it's time to go. So I'm just gonna knock the scales off of these real quick before I get gone, and then we'll be getting out of here. This will save me some kitchen trouble to knock these scales off now. Wifey will be happy about that. No scales all over the kitchen. Alright, that's one. Nice and scaled up. 